Hi guys, Dan Spence here again. Okay, okay, okay. Around that time, I have been into arranging balloons. <laughs> okay, for people who's always watched me already know that that's my personality, you know, like something will attract my attention and then all of a sudden, I'm into this at the moment. That's where my mind will be at. I remember that time when we were trying to discover pies and then I keep making pies. Okay, it all started with my son going to prom. I was so excited, like I've never had a child go to prom before. Is there something that I need to do? What do I do? My brother and my dad both offered to drive him. You know, I don't drive, so you know, that's one of the things that I feel bad about. I can't even offer to drive him. My our family group chat. Is anybody interested in driving my son to prom? And you know, both of them like are really <laughs> up for it. And my dad was like, Please let it be me! <laughs> so, actually what happened was my dad ended up taking him to prom and then my brother ended up picking him up from prom. It all worked out well. My family is so cool! I am so spoiled by my family. So that's already sorted. Okay, right is sorted, right? Is there anything else I need? Like, I was so excited! Like, and then I was at work. I was asking people at work, like, is there anything I need? Is there anything I'm missing? Like, what do I need to do? And they were like, oh, did he have a haircut? His outfit is ready. His dad took care of his outfit. His dad and their side of the family are like good at those things. Like outfits and stuff. You know me, I'm not really very good with fashion. So that's all sorted. And so like, I'm like, what else do I need to do? I don't know what else I need to do. So I asked him, did you have a haircut? Do you need a haircut? I started to think about what was it like during my prom? What did the, the men have? What was my experience? To kind of have an idea. Although it was in a different country, okay? I went to prom in Philippines. So it's different. I don't know what to expect here. Thinking about what happened during my prom, I remembered every time, I remembered receiving flowers. You know, like a bouquet of flowers. It's either a bouquet of flowers or three flowers or like one flower. But I remembered there was always flowers. He got a corsage and a botanip, like matching. He got it himself. He chose it himself, which I thought was very sweet. I'm like, maybe let's give something fresh, you know, like fresh flowers. And I love arranging flowers. I used to arrange flowers for my brother because in Philippines, it's really common. Our version of dating is like courtship. Which is like the men, um, normally they would give flowers to the females or the women. I've always arranged flowers for my brother. Whenever he's courting, we call it courting somebody. I got reminded of that and I'm like, oh, I can arrange a bouquet. I'm, I got so excited actually. And then, so I bought stuff. On the way home from work, there's a co-op, um, which is like a convenience store. It's everywhere in the UK. And there's a Cooper's, which is like a hardware slash it's like a hardware store but there's a lot of other items that you can find there like i'm so amazed with this shop because when you look in front it looks like very small when you go inside it's like there's so much stuff they have so much to offer you know there's cards there's greeting cards birthday cards gardening items there's clothes there's even socks you know and so like if you're last minute, forgot to get somebody a present, you can always go there and find something. I am actually being serious. If they're not that posh, you know, you can find something there. There's even plates, mugs, picture frames, items for the house, light bulbs, batteries. They have arts and crafts stuff as well. So I got this from there to wrap my bouquet with. There's also one that is just clear see-through plastic. And then I went to the co-op to buy fresh flowers because co-op will always have fresh flowers. I probably bought three, three bouquets from co-op that kind of, for me, match together if I put all those flowers together and then I arrange them into a bouquet. So I gave it to my son to give to his partner. As soon as my daughter saw it, 
she fell in love with the bouquet and she started trying to convince me not to give it to my son she's like she he's not gonna want to give that to his partner like this is not the philippines mommy you can't give that like that's embarrassing something like that my son felt like embarrassed to give it his friends are actually convincing him it's fine you know bring it give it to her my son was a bit hesitant like he felt a bit embarrassed about it and i thought like there was a part of me that feels like am i doing too much like should should i just tell him okay fine don't give it am i pushing him too much you know I started to have those doubts. I'm really relieved when he told me in the end that it seemed like, you know, she actually liked that she had the flowers. Because, you know what, that's what I thought. I'm like, no girl is gonna be like, you know, I don't want flowers. You know what I mean? I don't know, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't know many women that would feel like, oh no, I don't really want flowers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of that, I decided, oh, maybe I should get my daughter flowers for her birthday because her birthday was coming up so my daughter for her birthday she wanted like a bunch of items for her room like i spent a lot of money actually you know she wanted a new bed a chest of drawers i gave her some money as well and then i gave her a fan she didn't really ask for it, but i gave her a fan i gave her curtains kind of like that is my present for her but it's awkward like like for me on your actual birthday i kind of feel like I need to give her something, you know, like she has to receive a, something from me, even if it's not a really big thing, but I still want her to receive something. So I decided, you know what, for her birthday, I'm gonna bake her a bouquet. But then, you know, it's like, it's just bouquets. It has to be more special than any other bouquet because she's my daughter. Okay, so just flowers doesn't feel like enough to me. Okay, so I've decided, what else can I add to that arrangement? And like balloons just clicked in my mind. I'm like, oh yeah, it would be nice if we have balloons and flowers together. So um, I ended up buying a bunch of balloons off eBay plus this. It's really cool, you know. I really like this. I bought it off eBay as well. Look, it's like plastic, you know. So it's really perfect for flower arrangements. It's not going to get wet or crumpled or anything like that. It's really good. See? This is just one order, you know, and they still have loads. I've used this a lot of times already and I still have loads left. I bought some balloon sticks. See, I've got loads of these. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, look, I have loads. Look, I have loads. Me and my ex share them, my kids. She was meant to come here and so I decided to put in her new bed sheets because when I first built her bed, we were using old bed sheets and she wanted new ones. I've put it together and then put her flower arrangement on it. She absolutely loved it. So now I have a bunch of balloons left, <laughs> like spare. My cousin came over. On her birthday, you know, they had like a pajama party together and so she saw the arrangement. So I thought, you know what, maybe I should give her an arrangement as well for her birthday when because they're celebrating their birthday together as a joint celebration. And so I've decided to make one for her for then. I used up some of the balloons for that. Oh my goodness, you know what, Kyrie, my ex-husband's baby, had so much fun playing with the balloons because he's here, he's hanging out with me, and then I decided, you know what, he's gonna probably like it, you know, so I started blowing up balloons. He's so good, he's trying to blow up a balloon as well, <laughs> but it's not working for him. I kind of feel bad that it's not working for him, but it's so cute to watch. Yes, what did you say? What did you say, baby? Eight. One big blue balloon, one big red balloon, and then the green one kind of deflated a little bit. And he said, This is mama, this is papa, and this is baby. <laughs> Isn't he so clever? I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm a ninja without a name. Don't follow me.